What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Doom, the 2016 revision. My name is Splattercat, very happy to have you here today as we finish the next level. And so apparently we're off to go kill Olivia Pierce in the next episode. I'm not really sure when that's going to go down, but either way, we did good on this level. We got a fat chunk of the secrets. I couldn't find that last one. I looked around for it for a little bit, but didn't want to spend too much time on it. Uh, I've got a feeling it's probably a little bit further back than we are right now, but we got almost everything done right there. We did a really, really good job. If we had gotten the final secret, I think this is actually the amount of weapon points you get for the secrets. And so when you get half of them, you get this one, and when you get the second half, you get this one right here. But we basically got just about everything done on that level. We didn't miss a whole lot, so that should be really, really advantageous for us in the future. Let's continue our playthrough, shall we? Against Samuel Hayden's wishes, you stopped the production of Argent Energy and delayed the Hell Portal from opening. Still determined to bring the armies of Hell to this dimension, Olivia Pierce has taken an accumulator to the top of the Argent Tower and plans to use it to open a transdimensional rift, blowing open a portal into their world. This cannot happen. You must kill Olivia. Okay. Primary access points to the tower were destroyed in the explosion. The pipeline is damaged, but still intact. There are thrust boots in the maintenance hangar. You can use them to traverse the pipeline. Thrust boots? Apparently we're upping our pornography game. We need our thrust boots on before we can do proper filming. Let's see here. Is there anything up and off the edge? Nope, nothing down there that looks too interesting to me, so let's not fiddle with it for right now. We do have a map available, just in case you wanted to look at that, but it looks like we basically just got like an upside-down L-joint thing going on. Upside-down, reversed L-joint. We'll jump over to here. Seems okay by me. Doesn't appear to be anything useful up and around here. Just trying to find secrets. I just like secrets. Oh, a Revenant. That's funsies. Okay, a Revenant with rockets. I've got those too. Also, I just fell off the building and died. Hooray for me! Victory for Splattercat. Yes, load from the checkpoint, which is obviously probably the beginning of the level. Let's try this again. That was an accident. I didn't pay attention. I fell off a roof and it hurt me. There we go. Ooh, blasted him to bits. That was easier than I expected it to be. The Revenant is like the new spokesperson for Doom. I personally think it should be the Caco Demon. The Caco Demon is classic. Everybody loves the Caco Demon. I love the Caco Demon so much that I have one tattooed on me. That's right. That's how much I like Doom. I make poor life decisions and put things on my body permanently. There's some chainsaw. I wonder what happens if you chainsaw a Revenant. It's a valid question. And one I think is worth chasing down. And that vertical hop. You know you got vertical skills when you can jump and land on top of a dude's head. What were the challenges for this level? Ow. Well, it's time to find out. There we go. We asked a valid question. It needed to be answered. And then I got walked into by an explosive guy while I was mid-fatality. So apparently they don't. Actually, I thought that they had the, the Kung Fu movie effect in this game where when you're in a fatality, things wouldn't attack you. But it actually looks like they continue to do so and you don't have any immunity. We can chainsaw a revenant, though. Learn that one the fun way. By chainsawing a revenant, that is. I don't think he wants any. I mean, he can try, but he's going to die. And he's going to fry because I let fly with the rockets. You, sir, I don't feel like dealing with. Let's get rid of some of the little annoying guys from down in here before we go any further. Did it work? I can't tell if that worked for me. Revenant's coming down, so... A uh, general rule with rocket launchers is that you should always aim at the feet so that at least you score like a glancing hit if they decide to run right into it. It's kind of an old rule of Quake and other games like that where you 
always want to aim at the ground when you're using weapons with splash damage. It might sound obvious to people that have played a lot of first-person shooters and stuff like that, but for people who are new or who don't play these games very often, it's just that if you miss firing a rocket at somebody's torso, that's a complete and total miss, but if you miss and it hits the ground and gets them with splash, at least you still accomplish something. I always feel like those big canisters are going to be worth a lot more health than they actually are. What's inside of here? My objective. In 2127, based off a prototype developed by Samuel Hayes research team, the Argent Tower, also known as the Argent Inductor, is the UAC's crown achievement. Oh, so we got a double jump now. That will actually more than likely expand the amount of places they can hide secrets pretty considerably. And so we've got thrust boots now. Let me dismiss that very quickly, and we'll have a look at our map here. I don't know why it keeps centering way the shit over there. Looks like I missed something in here. Yeah, there we go. An Argent Energy Tower. Ooh, a Healy Station. Yes, please. I would love little shoes with wheels on them so I can run around the Walmart like a crazed rolling bat out of hell. I don't know. I couldn't think of a good I couldn't think of a good simile. Leave me alone. It's a tough thing like what rolls. Oh like, mm, uh, well, it rolls like pizza dough. I don't know. But then why would pizza dough be rolling through a Walmart? You feel me like it just gets confusing after a while. I want to climb back up there and I don't want to be down here anymore. Because I think I can jump to there, and then to there, and then up to there. Oh, I have double boots. That's right. I forgot I had double boots now. Meh. Now that I have double boots, nothing can stop me. Double boots. There we go. Double boot my way over to here. Double boot my way up to there. Booting like an old school Apple IIe. Nobody calls it booting anymore, like booting into the program or anything like that. They used to call it when I was a kid. I was just loading, but booting was what it was called back in the day. They'd be like, oh, we're booting it right now. What's that down there? Is that just like a secret walkway? Oh, there's something down there. And I require to know what it is. can't tell if I can climb that. Chances are I can climb that. So there's a walkway down there, but does it go to anything? It doesn't look like it do. If we can go up, though, there's some Argent Energy up on one of these walkways. I don't know exactly where, but it says there's Argent Energy up here, so I'm inclined to believe it. Ah, there we go. Found ourselves a secret. But a bad 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 yeah, make our armor better. Oh, we got 75 armor now. Yes, that is considerably more satisfactory than what we had before. So that counted as a secret. So that's good. That's why we upgrade our scanner, kids. Uh, there's like some goodies inside of there, but I don't really know what to do with it. came from that way no lie I am interested in that door that we couldn't get through the one that's right here where it's got a bunch of stuff inside the room or whatever or is that not where we came from ooh free rockets though and apparently a checkpoint if I walk this pipeline does it go anywhere or am I just kind of like wasting my own time here? I think I'm wasting my own time. That's a big old med kit right there. That's a med kit with a little bit of quality to it. There's a dead guy as well. Whether or not he's a dead guy of quality, I can't really eyeball right now. He might be. He could have been a human of quality before he was chewed upon by the forces of darkness. 
I think we're out of bounds right now. I don't think that goes that way. It did, however, look like there might be some kind of bottom platformy thing down there. I don't see anything off on that side. Compensate for that impact. Oh, shit. I need something that can shoot at them. There we go. Or at least cause them to slightly fumble. Sorry, my face is really itchy right now. Allergies are doing terrible things to me. That took way more bullets than I expected it to take. Let me swap this thing. Oh, there's another one too. Goody. How many more of them are over there? Ah. Enough. How has that not killed you yet? Shit. They're everywhere, aren't they? Got what? There. I will get my direct hit, damn it. I want my weapon mastery badly. I don't see. I mean, luckily we had so much armor that it didn't really matter that they landed all those hits on us. Was there anything else in here that we wanted to take a look at? It looks like there's a way lower platform right here. What does this go to? Like, what is the point of this? Sounds like we still have enemies available. Where they're hiding at, I don't know. But it sounds like they're still here. Ah. Perfect. God, I love that grenade launcher. I think that's all of them. That grenade launcher is like my bestest friend in this situation. Might be able to climb up right here and then do something like that, which would put us pretty squarely. I mean, we're not on our objective right now, but if we could find the auto map a little bit earlier, it would make this situation simpler on us. That is, finding all the random secrets and stuff that I want to hold in my arms and cradle until they fall deeply asleep. Oh, hey, what's up, chaps? Yes, hey, how's it going? Welcome. Yes, commence the cuddles. Ow. Damn it, now I gotta beat you to death so I can take your health. See, I was just gonna shoot you in the face and it was gonna be quick and painless. But you're in here making it all complicated. Ugh, now we got one of these dudes, too. Shit, there's another one behind me. Where did he come from? Not a lot of functional room right here to fight with these guys from, but luckily we killed him before he got in the room, so it doesn't matter. A little bit of armor right there. I wonder what the point of this is. We found a secret, so that's pretty cool. I mean... I would love to find the auto mapper though so it would fill in all the other stuff too. Start taking a look around and seeing what we can verify. Oh yeah, that's not good. Well, I mean we've got the hardware now. Oh, yep, don't slip. See, that's why you always gotta use you gotta be on belay whenever you're on like a high air. Oh no. Does that actually one-shot those guys? Oh, it looks like the rockets do. They one-shot those guys. Well, that's exactly what I was looking for. Fantastic. And we've gotten a new upgrade point. Took a little bit of splash damage from our own attack right there, but it wasn't anything too damaging. It wasn't 
negligible either. It was somewhere in the middle. It was an intermediate amount of damage that we just took. We can add a tactical scope to our rifle, and I would recommend it for long for long engagements and for the upgrades that are available. It's a fun little item. I, I don't think you'll... I thought to myself, like, how would the tactical scope be useful in this game because you're moving around so much, but it's actually not bad. It comes with a lot of cool upgrades that work out pretty well. It looks like... There is definitely something up above us or below us. I'm going to go with above. And that drops me back down to the central pipe. Okay. Okay with some of that, but not all of it. I do want that armor, though, very, very badly. That'll keep us safe a little while longer. And then it looks like we've got a data log around here somewhere. So you know how I am about collecting little bits of wood with information on them. Let's see if we can't... F oh, there it is. It's because it's the same color as everything else in the general area. Threw me off. Uh, the Revenant. The MLRB implant operation is conducted with the patient in an anti-mortem state and without anesthesia. As it is imperative, the patient develops neural recognition of the augments before expiration. Once a neural connection with the implants has been established, the patient is repeatedly exposed to Lazarus Wave Blast to induce death and transform the subject into a Revenant. As with Hell Soldiers, Revenants exhibit advanced combat tactics that include range control, vertical combat governance, and rush tactics. We may have enough points for some kind of upgrade in here now. And actually, that's not a bad plan right there, considering I don't usually I don't usually use the missile launcher because it's not that good. What this does is now our bullets go through things with the assault rifle as long as we have the tax scope on, and then from there the headshots will do additional damage as well. And so, I actually think that's a little bit more suitable for what we're going for right now. All right, so just a little quick look see to make sure we haven't missed anything, but frankly. This map's kind of wearing everything on its sleeve right now, so... We did miss out on that demonic rune back there. Uh, let me go see if I can find a way in. Okay, so it wasn't actually that hard to get inside this room. If you come back to this main area, remember when we dropped down here and we fought the Revenant on top of that pipe? All you have to do is you climb up on this box over here, but you have to have the thrust boots first. Otherwise, it won't work. And then you can jump up in right there, and bam. And I have no idea what this does. So ammo boost increases the value of ammo found from demons and items. We have to do a 30 count kill, 30 unwilling, with a super shotgun. Sounds okay to me. Which ones are the unwilling? I have no idea what mob that is. Are they the guys that shoot the Kamehameha Blast? They're not the imps. They gotta be the... Oh, well, we'll find out in just a second. Oh, they're little skelly dudes. Gotcha. Gotta kinda line them up and make sure you're getting them all with one shot. Probably grab you right there. Yep, lots of skeletal groping going on right now. There's 15 done. Ah, uh, it count. It doesn't count the zero second. Okay, I thought we were gonna have one more second to get it done, but it's cool. I didn't know the map layout. It's all good. You got to expect these things to get a little bit nastier as time goes along. A little bit more difficult. A little bit more challenging. Especially when it won't let you, as far as I can tell go above certain thresholds with your time like you can't go above seven seconds for example it's a little bit of a problem if you could just like smack these things and be at like 30 seconds it wouldn't be so bad however it stops you from doing as such a couple more of you guys around here I don't know where they're gonna be hiding at but we got to get rid of them there we go Come on. Gotta tune up that time. Make it look good. Oof. Perfect. 
Took his kneecap out. I didn't have that good of aim right there, but we did what we gotta do. The ammo boost will be nice. I don't know how we upgrade the amount of runes that we can equip. It's probably done level by level. Uh, I think we're actually gonna end up in hell in this game, too. It seems unlikely to me that there'll be less than at least, like, 20 missions or so. Not sure how long the playthrough's gonna be here on YouTube, because you know how my channel is. I do new content, and so I've always gotta be cycling stuff. I do like to finish things every now and again. It's just kind of dependent. Uh, an extra shield right there. Sure, I'll take it. Did this count as a secret, by the way? I don't think this counted as a secret, did it? Oh, it did count as a secret. Okay, that's cool. I like my secrets. I kind of feel guilty for not dicking around on the first couple levels more and kind of realizing the way that this all functions. Then again, without the map scanner, I'm not so convinced I was going to find much anyways. Because it helps. Once you have the map scanner and a couple points put into it, it makes your life a lot easier as far as finding secrets goes. It's basically the equivalent of being in the first game and just brute forcing it by looking at every single surface and spamming the space bar. Mm. Where was the way out of here? I can't recall. Oh, there we go. Makes a little bit more sense. Almost died right there because my foot got caught on the thingy. And we'll just make our way back to the main thoroughfare. Which I think is over here somewhere. I don't know. I do like the map design. I think they did a great job with map design in this title. The, the map design is definitely the kind of stuff you would expect from a company like id. It's all over the place. It's confusing. And yet at the same time, it all has like a motif. It's like a thing you're working on in every single one of these. Where am I supposed to be? Okay, so I gotta go up, it looks like. There it is. Perfecto. From right there, we just gotta use the double boost, and then we're in with maximum armor and maximum health. Bet you wish you hadn't installed this blast glass. I could just machine gun her ass from here. Hold on, I could open this too. Hello, and welcome to the UAC, home of the patented Argent Energy Filtration System developed by Dr. Olivia Pierce. We are the only corporation with this technology, able to convert pure hell energy into clean, controllable Argent energy. It powers this facility and is broadcast throughout the universe from Argent Tower, providing all of the energy. He thought he was going to get me. He was feeling sneaky today. He was feeling sneaky today, but I said, nope, not in the mood little bad guys thank you for blocking that blast for me although I can't help but notice there's a lot of explosive barrels around here and they tend to have quite the negative effect on my longevity I do like how you can move when you're in scope there we go blow up a couple of them and we're back to the shotgun. They've already gotten rid of all of our armor, really. That's unfortunate. Oh, I didn't want to use this attachment. What a giant waste of my shotgun shells. Yeah. I may have to get a tiny bit more violent here. Oh, she's back. That's fun. What did I just get hit by? I think it might be wise to fall back for a minute. Uh, I don't know if there's any health around here that I can use.
What I would prefer is for her to fight me from a reasonably safe spot. Unfortunately, I think our chances of that happening are kind of slim right now. Oh, good, there's two of them. Even better, just what I was hoping for today. Wasn't really trying to point blank anybody with a rocket right there, but hey, that's how the cookie crumbles. The rocket explodes and all that funsies. Jesus. She is everywhere. Ain't she? We are just barely hanging in there right now. Yeah, saw that one coming. I knew I was going to blow my stupid ass up with a rocket at some point. I sincerely wish that you would just die. Here, I'm gonna kill you because I need the health very, very badly. And that actually took me almost up to full, so I'll take it. Did I get her too? She down? The the throbbing death metal is no longer exploding into my headphones, so I'm assuming oh there was a thingy up here too. What was that? Quad damage. Yeah, that probably would have been helpful. Fun factoid, it just makes you kick harder. That's all that it does. Eh. Just works out the quads real fast. Is there anything around this area that I had not noticed? Oh, yeah, there is. Auto mapper helping me out right now, making sure that I don't miss the elite guards. Okay, let's go back. I'm all about exploring and making sure that we got everything around here, so I'm not going to complain about it. Gotta do what we gotta do. Ooh, there's some free plasma rounds right there. Yeah, buddy. What were the challenges for this map, by the way? Neck or jawbreaker kills on an imp. Okay, so that's fine. 15 demons using quad damage. I assume that at some point they'll give me another opportunity to use quad. Ah. There we go. Another secret for us. Searching high and low. Mostly high, though. To be fair, it's been a long time since I was sober last. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerdcast for the next episode of Doom. I will see you all in future episodes. Hi-do, everybody.